second, guys, I just wanted to make a little video to talk to you since uh, I actually had to ban some people from the channel. Um, I know some people are getting excited, but I've noticed some stuff recently, and I'm not sure if it's just because people are excited, but I wanted to talk to you from the standpoint of being an older collector and maybe help some of you guys out. But um, I'm starting to notice in the um, fandom or in the community, however you want to label yourself, um, some people are starting to get the signs of... Um, there's a point once you go from enjoying a collection to it just being almost like compulsory. Um, you know you're enjoying a collection and you're cool with it when you can go look at your collection and you enjoy all of it and you remember every piece you got and you like it and um, you know you you remember why you start collecting it because you love the fandom. You're starting to run into trouble when you start looking around at everything you have and everything you have is garbage and you only want this new stuff coming out and then the moment you have this new stuff that's garbage. You want the new stuff that's coming out. You're starting to run into a serious problem because you're starting to almost get addicted to collecting this stuff. And you're never you're never going to stop at that point. And I'm not telling you to stop collecting. That is entirely up to you. But I am telling you, you're, you're starting to lose the pleasure of having a collection at that point. And um, you're never going to enjoy the collection because everything you have... Um, you know, you've amassed up to that point, all of a sudden it's not good enough anymore. And the only thing good enough um, suddenly becomes the stuff that's hard to find or it's worth the most money or it was signed. And there's nothing wrong with liking special parts in your collection. There's nothing wrong at all with that. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with um, liking to collect special or rare things or having something special in a collection. But there is something very wrong when we lose sight of why we start collecting things and enjoying things in the first place. Um, when you suddenly look around you and you think, why do I have all this useless junk? All I really want is this thing that's coming out now, this rare expensive thing that I just have to have and all this other stuff is garbage. That's when you maybe have to stop collecting for a little bit. You seriously do, and I'm saying that from advice from having been in many fandoms and collected many times before. That's when you have to step back, because at that point you've actually, you've stopped enjoying the collection. You have. You've just started enjoying the collecting. You no longer enjoy the collection. You enjoy the collecting. In fact, you'll enjoy the new thing probably up until the point you get it put it on the shelf look at it for a couple minutes and you'll enjoy that new thing up until you see the next new thing and then the new thing isn't as good anymore is it and then you need the new thing so um if you reached that point i'm just going to say you know friendly advice just like step back for five minutes take a breather i promise you guys there is a thing called ebay you will always find this stuff you always will. Um, just step back five minutes. Take a breather. None of this stuff is going to be worth a million dollars. You are not going to retire on it. If that's your retirement strategy, please rethink your retirement strategy. Um, just like, you know, it's great. We're all excited. We should be. And I do share shopping videos with you because there's so much cool stuff coming out that I want. But, you know, I went in a different direction. I invested in a project that I've been excited about for years. I've, even before FNAF, I've wanted to do this project. And I finally said, I'm going to invest in it. And it ended up, I invested in it. And I never had, like, an idea of, like, I knew I wanted to invest in it. I knew I wanted it to be a permanent thing. I could never think of what to make it. And now I have an idea of what to make it. And you'll see it when it's finished. But, um... I just want to tell you guys, it's okay to put on the brakes and not collect every single thing. And it is okay to put on the brakes and step away for a while. And that's actually, you know, what I did. I was like, well, you know, this project's important to me. And I wanted to get it done. And you'll see it when it's done. And I, we're stocked up for the winter. Remember that. We're stocked up for the winter. And, um... I just want you guys to still be able to enjoy collecting. 
Um, cause, um, that should be the thing. We should remember we're here to enjoy FNAF. We're here to enjoy Five Nights at Freddy's and enjoy the characters. And in the end, the collectibles are supposed to enhance that. It's not supposed to be all about the collectibles. It's not supposed to become, um, a competition or who, he who dies with the most toys wins. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys, and, you know, reassure you from an older perspective that, um, in the end, it really doesn't matter. Scott isn't going to give you a special reward. No one is up there in the sky watching you and going to give you a special reward. Freddy is not going to show up at your door and go, hey, I know you had that ultra rare whatever. Um, it will not happen, guys. I know as human beings, we feel it will happen because that's our hunter gatherer instinct kicking in. And that is why we make such awesome collectors because that is how our ancestors became the dominant species, blah, blah, blah. But um, it's okay to step back. And now I have Christmas decorating to get back to because I am starting early because we are having kind of like a miniature heat wave. It's actually going to go up to 70s on Friday. Yes, because the world apparently is spinning towards the sun or something. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The world is not spinning towards the sun. Do not, do not freak out. I'm just kidding. It's just going to be nice and be in the 70s in November. On Friday, so I am decorating for Christmas what I'm doing, and so I will see you guys. But please, you know, don't let it stress you out. If you're getting stressed out, please just take a step back, take a deep breath, and calm down. Take some time off, enjoy what you have. And once you get back to the place where you can enjoy what you have and remember why you got in the first place, then you're ready to go out and get some more stuff. Okay, okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.